hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so here uh, actually there is a very beautiful problem in number theory that i encountered so i'll share that with you so the problem states that uh, suppose p is a prime number then if i consider this number 3p square plus 2p plus 1 then is it true that this is not a perfect square so this is perfect square uh, in integers or uh, natural numbers we can take so let us try to understand the question so here this expression is important and also you have to remember that p is a prime so this is our problem so yes so there are two type of primes only even primes and odd prime and even prime is only one so let us uh, see that manually what has happened when p is equals to 2 when p equals to 2 then i have 3p square plus 2p plus 1 that is equals to 3 times 4 plus 4 plus 1 that is 12 uh, 13 14 15 7 right so that is not a perfect square So we are only left with odd primes. So I assume that P is a odd prime. So let let us see what happens if P is an odd prime. So okay, we will try to prove a contradiction. Uh, so suppose uh, this expression or three p square uh, plus two p plus one is a perfect square when P is an odd prime. So let is a perfect square so that is i can express because to some capital n square right because it is a perfect square now if i uh, send one to the other side we have n square minus one so that can be factored into n minus one and n plus one also from the left hand side i can take a common p out so it will be 3p plus 2 which is n minus 1 n plus 1 now the, by using the property that p is a prime so we have that p either divides n minus 1 or p divides n plus 1 right so in any case uh, we have so p equals to n minus 1 uh, times so on the other way around so n minus 1 equals to some pt or n plus 1 is equals to some pt so anyway n is uh, pt plus minus 1 for some integer t now the thing is uh, clearly t has to be uh, greater than 1 because otherwise uh, because n minus 1 so that is uh, t equals to 1 is not possible and also if uh, now let us check what happens so if n t equals to 2 then i have n equals to 2 p plus minus 1 then you can actually manually check what happens so i have n minus 1 and n plus 1 both so in that case i have 
into 3p plus 2 that is equals to 4p square plus minus 4p now we can cancel p from both sides and then i have 3p plus 2 equals to 4p plus minus 4 so i can send 4 to the other side and it becomes p so p equals to 6 because other case it will become negative that is not possible but this is not a prime so now let us take that t is strictly greater than 2 or you can say greater than or equal to 3 then uh, this quantity n pt plus minus 1 it is uh, greater than or equals to 3p minus 1 right because t is greater than or equals to 3 now squaring both sides i have 3p minus 1 whole square that is uh, less than or equals to 3p square plus 2p plus 1 that i know already because uh, that is our n square and n square is nothing but this quantity right 3p square plus 2p plus 1 so that is what i have written so now if i simplify so that's why i broke the case uh, greater than equals to 3 and 2 because uh, in this case we can cancel out 3p uh, square and 3p square not exactly cancel out we can actually simplify so that we will understand but at least the one term will get cancelled out in this case so if I expand, I have 9p square minus 6p plus 1 is less than or equals to. So here what I have is, so if I move everything, so 6p square minus 8p is less than or equals to 0. So p has to be less than or equals to. 8 by 6 8 by 6 we can simplify 4 by 3 so there is no solution right so there is no solution for prime uh, that is less than equals to 4 by 3 so in this case it will also not work and this case uh, we are getting p equals to 6 that is that is not a prime and p less than equals to 4 by 3 for the other case it also does not have any solution so what we assumed that uh, this part um, this is a contradiction so this is a contradiction and uh, yes and so the result is true that it is not a perfect square in natural numbers so i hope the solution is clear so please let me know in comments if you and like the video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting problems thank you